Hello guys, how you doing? This is su amigo Alex, your friend Alex, and today I'm gonna try to unlock this iPhone 14. The first thing we're gonna do is, let's check here on settings, right? Settings, general, about. Here you can see that it says carrier lock, SIM lock. This device might be restricted to the original carrier and or have certain capabilities limited. Contact your provider for more info. So we already know that this iPhone is lock, SIM lock. Now we need to find out what company lock it. And how can we do that? We're gonna copy the IMEI and we're gonna search for IMEI check. IMEI check. And this is the website, imeicheck.com. Here you're gonna go to the menu and look for iPhone carrier check. There are plenty of ads. So this is the screen we need. I'm gonna start with the first IMEI. So I have everything, IMEI 1, IMEI 2, and serial. So let's click check. Success, it says. Carrier, US at and lock activation policy, SIM lock lock. So now we know that this iPhone 14, it's locked to at and If you have an iPhone that is locked to at and you need to contact at and And then you're gonna search for at and unlock. Yeah, click the website. I'm gonna put a link on the description so you can go to this website, all right? And here you're gonna select Apple and you see this submit and unlock request, click there. Do you have a mobile number from at and I'm gonna select no. And the IMEI, we're gonna grab one of the IMEIs and we're gonna paste it. The portal is going to recognize the device as the iPhone 14 and the model is the A2649. And then I'm going to click I read the legal info. Click next. All right. This is a good sign because it's allowing me to put my information. Sometimes AT&T is just going to tell you that you cannot unlock this device. Alex Suniga. A mobile number. Don't even click there. If you click, you're going to have to put a number, right? Don't click there. Email is going to be my track phone wireless at gmail.com. All right. Then I'm going to click submit. And here it says, thanks. We got your request. And at and it's only going to start looking at it when I go to my email and I confirm that request. So this is my email and it says confirm your device unlock request within 24 hours. And this is the link that you need to click confirm your request. And it says, thanks for confirming. Okay. Now, if you go back to the email, you're going to click check the status. It says pending. This is a good sign, guys, because this means that the server is going to make a decision. This happened automatically, you know, there's no human involved on this. So I'm going to go back to my email and I'm going to click check the status again. Chances are I'm going to get an answer. It's either approve or deny. If they deny that request, at and is always going to tell you the reason why. I'm going to click check the status. Always cross your fingers and then click check the status. Let's see what happened. Check the status. Boom. Approve. Current status approve. We approve your request to unlock your device. Here are the instructions. This is an eSIM, guys, so we don't have to remove or nothing. All we have to do is we need to add our eSIM. How can we add our eSIM? You see here, carrier lock, still same SIM lock. This needs to change to no SIM restrictions. You also gonna get an email. Let's see if we get the email. Yeah, right there. Heads up, we approve your unlock request. Let's get your device unlocked. Thank you to AT&T. So let's get back to settings and see if this change to no SIM restrictions. Yeah, right here, guys. Carrier lock, no SIM restrictions. That's it. No SIM restriction means that there's no restrictions on any SIM that you can activate it. In this case, it's going to be an eSIM, right? No more physical SIMs on these devices from the US. But no SIM restriction means your iPhone is 100% unlocked. A lot of people ask me, is this unlock going to last forever or just temporary? This is the perfect unlock, guys. This is the unlock by the server. It lasts forever. You can restore and update your phone. No problem. You will always keep it unlocked. All right. And how can we activate it? You need to go to cellular and then set up cellular. And then from here, you can transfer him from a nearby iPhone or using a QR code. Most people use a QR code. Here, you're gonna scan the QR code and that's how you're gonna get your eSIM activated. You need a strong Wi-Fi signal in order to activate your eSIM. Or if you have an iPhone with a current line, you can just bring it together and this will try to move that SIM card here. 
All right, guys, so that's how you unlock iPhone with an eSIM. A lot of people are asking me that. The typical question, how can I unlock T-Mobile, Verizon, TrackPhone, Spectrum, H2O, different companies, guys. We have plenty of carriers worldwide, and each carrier has their own method. I have a lot of videos on my channel for T-Mobile, Verizon, Boost, TrackPhone, so check out my videos, guys. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions. Thank you so much for watching this video, guys. I really appreciate it. If you want to support what I do, Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel. That's the best way to support what I do. It's going to take you one second and it's free. I count with your help, guys. Don't forget to subscribe. Thank you and I'll see you on the next video. Take care, guys. Bye.